Hello everyone, I'm Bob Mons. My name is Alex Sweet, and you are watching Dollhouse 13. Welcome back, or welcome to my small little channel. Um, today we are going to talk about something that kind of like scary stories, but you know, they're just things to be told. Um, I don't know the meaning of them, I don't know the purpose of them. They are just to be told, and they can be knowledgeable, blah blah blah. But I just think they're kind of spreading around the stories and myths and everything like that. And a few that got my interest was a scary one. Because it's Halloween time, I thought that we would actually do um, a kind of creepy version of it and the stories. And these are urban legends, you know, urban legends of those that say don't eat pop rocks and don't... Um, drink pop at the same time, how your belly explode. But these ones are the really scary versions, scary versions of what the hell. Every round, everyone, everyone has them, everyone knows a few. Like Marilyn Manson took out his ribs so he can give himself a bleed, a BJ, blah blah blah. So basically, um, urban legends are one of those things that everyone hears from childhood, from onwards, and it kind of creeps you out. Um, one of the most famous ones is Bloody Mary, and basically Bloody Mary, you're supposed to go to a window with a, uh, do a mirror with a light, and say her name three times, and she's supposed to appear. But, in the 1800s, or whatever it created, you were supposed to find a man for thy woman's. Um, basically, you were supposed to walk backwards, up the stairs, and you were supposed to see the man that you were supposed to marry, or the name of the man that you were supposed to marry. But if you saw a skull of the Grim Reaper, that means you're gonna die before you got married. So I think that's quite interesting. Another urban legend is Canadian urban legend, and it's the Wendigo. The Wendigo is basically cannibalism. If you ate someone, you would be possessed by a spirit and become this horrific m monster that eats other people. So cannibalism, Wendigo is one of my favorite monsters of all times. And that's another urban legend. Uh, one of the other ones, there's something in Newfoundland that's this creature in a lake and this, this long serpent like It's called Messy or Nessie or um, Jesse or something like that. And um, it's really creepy too. Urban legends were always there out there. Anyway, I have a clown mask on if you can't really tell. And I just want to remember, anybody remember the um, 2016 clowns, the scary clowns around Halloween time? I miss those. I wonder where they went. I wonder why they stopped. I'm very sad about that. But anyways, I'm distracted very... Also, I may not be able to make other videos a while now because there's construction in my uh, house that's coming up soon and I don't know if I could actually make videos soon so I'm very sad about that. But I'm not popular enough to actually people care so it's kind of good. But, you know... That's why I've been procrastinating so much and I just like, ugh, I just didn't want to do anything and I feel like because I'm lazy so much, it just, I procrastinate so much and it really sucks because I really want to make videos, I really want to edit more, I really want to do these things, but I just procrastinate so much. Anyways, Urban Legends, Urban Legends from Bigfoot, um, the screecher thing that you see from America or whatever. I really want to know more about Urban Legends, why they are there, what they mean what's the purpose of them so if you know the reason comment below because i want to learn too learning best and everything like that i guess gave the so urban legends what else is there there's one with um there's a creepy little story version of uh, the hook or whatever and basically there's a man that kept following and he just um they stopped the couple stopped and they heard a tick tick noise and they're like what the hell is that so the so the boyfriend left to investigate and it's been hours and basically she her the woman's like what the hell's going on so she went and she the uh she called the cops and the cops came and he said don't look behind you and just keep looking forward and i'll take you in my car and she looked behind and the tick tick noise was actually her husband no uh actually her husband hanging and it was kind of creepy i told the story wrong because i told you the tick tick noise was before it but I'm scattered brain right now. I just want to get this over and done with, tell you the truth. But um, basically that's kind of the story. Look it up, you know. And then there was another one. Oh god, it's called um, Flash of Lights or something like that. And basically, I think I have to go soon. I have like a minute left. So blah blah blah. Um, basically, 
this person, um, she was getting gas and she took the gas and everything like that. And then there was a creepy person giving the gas and she kind of floored it when he was kind of going crazy. And basically, um, she kept driving and she was going home and she saw a flashing light behind her. It was another car and she kind of panicked and, um, she kept just panicking and anytime they flashed in lights and she would kind of get worried and she uh, when she got home she was about to run in her car and the guy's like wait there was a man behind your car if i didn't flash uh, the lights then i uh, you would probably get killed anyways i have to go um thank you very much for watching my video i love you all my time limit right now i love you all please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll help you out Goodbye.